This version of the counter lets you control each digit directly. Unlike my previous design, where one lever would only increment the ones digit, this counter lets you increase each digit separately. So if you want to add 20, you just pull the tens lever twice. No need to click the ones lever 20 times. To make that work, I simplified the ratchet mechanism. In my older counter, the ratchet was built into the ones wheel and scaled up, but that made everything bulky. In this version, the ratchet is built into the detent of the digit wheels. Each wheel has one way detent, one side vertical, one side slope. The levers are simple leaf springs. When you press the lever, it engages the detent and moves the wheel forward one step. When the lever returns, it slips back without moving the wheel. This makes the mechanism compact and easy to scale to all three digits. Two things stayed from my old design. First, the zeroing knob. You press the shaft in, rotate clockwise, and the wheels all reset to zero. Second, the intermediate gears. When a digit rolls from nine to zero, it triggers the next wheel to advance. Now, let's assemble it. Step one, bottom part. Start with the bottom part of the counter. Insert the three detent springs into their slots. Push them in all the way. Next, take the two intermediate gears and click them into place. Set the bottom part aside. Step two, digit wheels. Start with the hundreds wheel. You can identify it by the full gear on the right side. The left side is smooth. Slide it onto the shaft, making sure the zeroing arm passes through. Next, take the tens wheel. This one has a full gear on the right and just two gear teeth on the left. Then, take the ones wheel. It only has two gear teeth on the left side. Finally, stack the zeroing knob onto the ones wheel. Set this whole assembly aside. Step three, top part. Take the top part of the counter and insert the incrementing levers. Make sure the leaf spring side faces away from the display window. Insert all three levers. Now, take the digit wheel shaft assembly and carefully fit it into the top part. This step is a bit tricky because the snap latches will get in the way. Take your time and insert it gently without deforming the lashes. Next, bring in the bottom part. Start by aligning the side with the detent springs and then snap the other closing latches into place. This part also takes a bit of patience, but once it's closed, it stays closed. Now, rotate the zeroing knob once to align everything, and the counter is ready to use.